okay let's so let's take a look at how you can use constructor in salesforce apex language so first log into your developer edition of salesforce and then click on setup icon and go to developer console after that in developer console we go to debug menu then open execute anonymous window now if you have any existing code remove that and then let's start writing our class let's name this doc now inside this we can have public string name okay then we will have our constructor doc okay so public doc that should take string name then this dot name equals to name okay then we will have one function so public void activity so it should return back that name so we will simply type in system dot debug and then we should add hello and then some space and append the name okay so let's say outside this class i create an object say dog t equals to new and then pass some name to that constructor and then use object to call a particular function that is basically returning back the name that we pass through constructor so we'll execute this and in log we will check user debug value so basically what happens is we use our constructor to take the name and we will return its value so user info hip then here okay so let's search for that static variable okay let's check for output user debug okay here you see hello tom is the output as we expected so our constructor is invoked when we pass specific name to it okay if we don't pass it then the default constructor will be invoked so you get the idea how to use constructor in apex